Senator Flanagan is in the New York State Senate. Of course, we have a bicameral government here, the legislature in New York State, as most states do, not all of them. Some of them have a single uh, house of the legislature, but we do have, and some of you have been reading about, uh, the New York State Assembly recently. Uh, and the new, I'm, I'm happy to introduce... <laughs> I'm happy to do, introduce the new chairman of the Assembly Environmental Conservation Committee, a scientist who has uh, a stellar legislative career, but also very, very close ties, and I think still an adjunct appointment here at Stony Brook. Used to be associated with their Long Island Museum of Natural Sciences, uh, Assemblyman Steve Engelbright. assembly a little bit. Uh, we're going through changes. Change is the word that most defines science, the study of change. Um, I remind myself of that uh, as we are in our uh, athletic events uh, in Albany sometimes, uh, where we're seeing a lot of change. Um, some good, some not so terrific. That's the human condition sometimes. Um, I will say uh, that one of the things that has changed is that uh, I got a new assignment. The assignment gives, makes better use of my academic background as the only elected scientist in the state. And uh, as the chair of the Incon Committee, the Environmental Conservation Committee, uh, we have a chance to deal with um, issues that relate to the natural environment, including the marine environment. Uh, in the aquatic environment of New York. And uh, so, thank you for mentioning that, Bill, but uh, I think it relates to what you all do here, um, that assignment. So I wanted to be with you this morning, and uh, part of, of course, of what we do in uh, Albany is also competitive. Uh, we're not supposed to carry the election into our daily work. Uh, that has been uh, too often a form of, of the mean-spiritedness. Uh, and I don't think that's appropriate. So in my new position as the chair of the Environmental Conservation Committee, I'm going to try to bring parties uh, who are normally adversaries uh, together uh, to work. Now, you'll be able to do that at the end of today. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, competition is something that sharpens your focus and uh, inspires uh, toward excellence. And ultimately, that is part of, of your mission here, excellence. Uh, and it's achieved in part through sharpening your minds and sharp, uh, sharpening your competitive spirits. And so, within that context, I just want to say, in the larger sense, that's what this university is about. That's what this great state university is. I believe that public education uh, is the, uh, the, the highest expression, the finest expression of the American experience. We invented public education here in the United States. It is our competitive edge. So competition used constructively uh, can advance uh, your career, just as it can advance uh, the destiny of our state and our nation. That is part of what you're involved with here as well. Um, just a brief advertisement. This is not just a great university to visit today. Come back and take a look and consider coming here. Uh, and I say that as uh, a person who has taught here for more than 40 years, um, now retired, uh, sort of, and uh, I say that also as a father of both of my girls, my children are graduates of this university, um, both in science and math. Uh, although my younger daughter, who is now a doctor of uh, dentistry, um, began as an English major. Think about this place. It can do wonders 
for your future. And this is a, a truly great institution. This is the flagship of the state university system. Please consider it when you consider uh, your, your own destinies as you go forward. As you go forward today, uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you for a chance to greet you this morning, to give you my uh, best wishes for a productive day and going forward with a productive year. Uh, I appreciate the chance to be with you this morning. Thank you.